Yes, Secret of Evermore. Random playthrough, essentially. We're just gonna create a new game. I don't know why, but maybe it's because of the era. I like to name the boy Max. Technically, canonically, on like Wikipedia, it's called the boy and then the dog, or at least in game facts. Obviously, you're supposed to put whatever name you want. In this case, I just feel like it's appropriate to the area. I area? Era. Mmm. The funny thing, the funny story behind this and, uh, behind this game is I got this on the, I remember getting this, oddly enough, I think of it like at a drugstore. And I looked at it, I saw the screen, or not, Square Soft at the time. And I'm like, oh, this is an RPG I've never heard of. And it turned out it was, sort of, an action RPG. I guess this is the opening cinematic. I guess we should just uh, embrace yourself in the music. An experiment is about to conclude. Oh, we got a narrator. I do recall the name of the, s the town is called Padunk. Like, you know, like a turd dropping into a toilet bowl. Yes, yes, yes. That would be at least... That sounds something like the AVGN would say. And, uh, my friends, prepare to be a part of history. With a twist of an up here and a flip of a switch here. Oh, no. Wait a minute. That's not right. Oops. We're all dead. I should not have flipped that switch. 30 years later. Oh... What a classic! My favorite part was when the battle of the slime beasts in the toxic swamp. You could hardly tell it was really a bunch of old tires and a garden hose. What? Where are you going, buddy? That's not the way home! Wait for me! Maybe I should give him calif- like, what's this hair he has? <laughs> now where did he go? Do I have to- I, I better not press anything because it might skip the whole cutscene. We want to have the cutscene. Hmm, the door is open. I better take a look inside. There you are. You know, I think the cat is long gone. Hey, where are you going? Yikes, watch out for that. Oops. Hey, look, a mummy, a chainsaw, and a balloon animal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Hmm, that wall panel seems kind of loose. Wow! I think we found some sort of secret entrance. Totally radical! <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Well, there. Wow! Looks like the PZS plasma drive and when the, when the continents collide? What? I wonder if it works. Whoa! You should get out of here before something goes terribly wrong! Well, we should. I was just trying to read it ahead of time. Hey! Don't chew on those wires! Far out! What happened? Uh-oh. Oh no! Another... explosion? Hmm. Whoa! Totally tubular! <laughs> what do we have here? An intruder, I fear. He's speaking rhymes. Gone, gone, be gone! That was some blast. Whoa! Who, who are you? That is not important. We have to get you out of here. We can't have you meddling with the professor's experiments. Come along. Well, okay, creepy man. Who is that, Carlton? Do we have a visitor? It's no one. No one at all. Continue with your work, Professor. He's obviously evil. <laughs> you know, after you. Okay. Or whatever you say, creepy man. Now what? Well, we get this thing. Receive the bow 
awesome. I mean, cool. One could say, radical? No! Enemies! This does not look good! Oh, I tried to shoot, but it didn't. Tried to shoot, didn't work! Got one of them. Gotta line them up. I picked up that. Oh, it was nothing! You get nothing! Good day, sir! There we go. Hole in one. Totally radical! I'm keeping this thing. Unless I don't. This looks like a way out. How does it look like a way out? Is that you, buddy? I can't see very well. It's dark in here. Hey! I think there's some sort of futuristic escape pod. Oops. There goes the control pad. What'd you do? What kind of roughhousing did you fucking grow up with? I broke the control pad. Oh, shit. Mistakes were made. Well, now probably taking 12 buff. This is totally not far out. Or maybe it is. Whoa, that was some landing. I think the pod and bazooka are shot. What? Where am I anyway? And where's my dog? Hey, buddy! Hey, Pupster, where are you, boy? Whoa! Is that really you? You changed. Hmm. If you're really my dog, go fetch this stick. Okay, go get it! Well, this isn't the stick, but it will do. Come on, buddy, let's look around. And then the game commences. You can. This is actually one of those games where you can skip that opening cinematic. Now, in this game, your dog is basically... You can play of him. Play, you know, press select. Of course, this form of him is incredibly slow. Unless, you know, you run his... I don't even think we can run yet. That's one of those things where you have to unlock the ability to run. It's a mechanic later. And uh, if you hold the trigger buttons, L and R, searches for ingredients. But the funny thing about the dog is he just has a lot more damage output. And you kind of rely on weapons and shit. Two people can play this game. It's kind of like the precursor to the Secret of Mana games. <laughs> so you get that same vibe if you haven't played this, but you played the Mana games. It's like, this looks familiar. Well, I'm guessing this probably, like, Square Enix, Squaresoft, whatever it is they are nowadays. I like to cons consider they do experimental games. And this is probably one of those experimental games that worked out. And then they're like, yeah, we better make a series out of this, this uh, whatever you would call it, a system. What's the term? System or something? Ow! Be careful. This is where we can, uh... We can actually do a little bit of a grind session here. I know it sounds weird, but... We can actually... There's actually one of those mini-bosses where you're meant to lose, but you can win, and you get additional story out of it. Which I'm hoping to accomplish here. We'll do a little adventuring, and I'll probably hold the recording. But then again, I'll probably keep it rolling, and... And just edit segments out and get the funny bits if there's any. I do put this through an editor. You should let you know. I'm a let's player that actually does some form of editing. I know it's un it's unheard of. Attack dog. I'll attack too. The funny thing is you can upgrade your weapon per enemy you kill. You sniffing out there, buddy? Ash. I got myself some ash. So yeah, I do have the physical copy of this game. There's another game I would like to play is uh, Evo, which I do have a physical copy of. <laughs> Unfortunately, in my in the sacrosanct way, I think I remember I put my name on it. But apparently, Evo has a lot of value, the cartridge version, which is weird. I mean, for it being for some reason, I guess maybe because there's not much. But Evo, honestly, is a bit of a crusty game. I think I may have mentioned it's... It's actually kind of challenging, but it's really weird. But if you know ex exploits in that game, it's not really challenging. If you have enough Evo points to evolve during mid-battle, you're good. Try to kill this thing. Mainly, I'm trying to get the kill so I can... Because uh, every time you kill an enemy with one of these weapons... Uh, let's see if I can remember the controls level. Man, is, is that sound right? See, it says Bone Crusher, 1 of 12. Essentially, you have to get that to clock over at a 99, and then you basically learn a charge ability. 
And the most annoying thing about that is every single weapon, you have to level it up. I think the first bit, you, you get two points per, so you only have to do it roughly 50. The next one, you have to kill a full 100 enemies. It's, it's based on what you kill. Not necessarily the value of the said enemies you kill. You can kill a bunch of mosquitoes if you want. Ow. Do I even have pedals to heal myself? i got to be careful. I don't have any means of healing. Oh, level 2. And we heal on levels. Never mind. So we can be a bit conservative. I guess I technically could use save states. Because I don't want to die before <laughs> do go all through all this all over again. That would be just a waste of time. It would be funny, though. So we're just, we're just kind of clearing the city. There's some areas I'm kind of fretting that I don't like doing. I, I don't... I think the reason I stopped playing the last time, because I think I had another Let's Play going for this. I'm just going back to it because, I don't know, I feel like I could do it better, if that makes any fucking sense. I don't know why my brain's so stupid now this. But, but it's, yeah, the, the Marketplace segment is, you face, I'm, I'm just going to go through on a walkthrough because it's really miserable doing that. Because you have to go back and forth to get pots and all that kind of stuff. The funny thing about the this version, the international version, which I believe this is, it has so many bugs. Is there nothing there, doggo? There has to be. There's so many bugs with the, uh, I found it, with this version where those little relics that you get in the market are already built in. I think there's like a sword or something where you already have it, like the effect is already on your person. And it's a pointless weapon, so you, you might as well trade it up or something. Additionally... Uh, the bazooka that we had, the best ammo is an, is infinite. Unintentionally infinite. It's a bug. So, yeah. <laughs> Some issues carried over to the to this version. I guess they didn't forget to carry the one when they were doing the translation. I don't know. I don't do coding. But that's uh, the gist of that. Pretty much all I have to say. So, I'm just going to continue killing. So, uh, BRB. Oh. which I Which, by the way... <laughs> before I conclude the recording, is uh, the way to do that. You're like, oh, I killed every enemy. Now, this is right before the raptor fight, right here. And then you just turn around and all the enemies respawn. So if I would go any further up, the raptors would come in and then die, pretty much. But you can gain levels here to increase your chances. It's not like it makes a difference if you win or lose. It's just... Yeah, I think you get a lot more points killing the raptors, and it's just kind of fun to have a cutscene. We're gonna give it a shot. So I got my bone crusher to level two, and here's an example of when you get it to level two. You get a little charge gauge, and it does a heavier hit. Which I'm gonna attempt fighting the raptors. And hopefully they don't delete me from existence. I do need like. I might get away with one. I might get one level as I'm fighting them, depending on my chance. I have a straight. I have a strange feeling about this. I'm holding my charge still. Hopefully, I'll get it. Didn't take it. Oh, oh, oh! Come on, come on, doggo. Ah, oh, miss. They always jump out in the center. Uh, oh man, maybe I should get more levels. It might not be too important. Again, it's not too important. It just would be cool. Kill them all. Dog might die. <laughs> Always jumps from the bushes. Holding them still until dog attacks. Oh, okay. Let's actually hand stand back here. I don't think they can jump. Uh, staying in the center is a bit more precarious. Let's actually try to bait them in here. No? No? Oh, come on. <laughs> Miss. I don't think they can jump from here. Ah, there we go. There we go. That's the ticket. I might actually take a pedal. Actually, I can probably take one more hit. Just have to be careful. There we go. Okay, not so bad. It's just hiding in here because they can't. I don't think. They don't seem to track too well. Oh, shit. Okay, let's just uh, let's take a healing item. Uh, how do I get to healing item? Oh, there we go. Petals. Yeah, that's right. We eat petals in this. Don't question it. Protect me, doggo. Protect me, doggo. I think it's down to the last one. Oh shit! No. It's either one or two. He's gonna try to blindside me. 
Oh, I'm just trying to swat him away. Come on, Doggo. Come on, Doggo. We got this. Oh, yeah, he's a tougher one. He's a tougher one. He's teleporting, too, apparently. You can teleport bush to bush. Damn it, I miss. Of course. They're evasive. They're, they're velociraptors. Notice the velociraptors. And their ways of sneak attacks. And their teleportation ways. Back in the prehistoric era, it was well known that... Well documented that raptors were capable of teleportation. It was, a it was in their genetic structure. Have you ever seen those movies? You got the Jurassic people? Oh, oh, oh. He's being very fucking... Being very fucking... Sneaky. Oh, come on. We got this. It's just one more. Listen to how the music's like escalating. Yeah, I got him. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, we did it. And we get the level and get... Yeah, you got pedal and talons. It's just a nice little bonus, I guess. Doggo almost died. Oh yeah, and you can get to this screen to collect materials. I think it's special. Yeah, crystal. Because normally when you... Uh, this screen is completely ignored uh, <laughs> when you transition. I'll show in a bit. Three parts water. Is there something else, Doggo? <gasps> There's all these goodies. Crystal. Let's snort them. That's the power of this game. Now you're probably wondering what all that ingredients and all that is. Well, that's actually the magic mechanic of this game. Instead of using MP, you use reagents for your magic. Now look, it completely skips that screen. So we wouldn't be able to get that little stuff on in between. Now the fun thing about this is normally you'd get knocked, you'd get defeated by the, by the, what's it called? The, what am I trying to say? By the raptors. And then you'd have, and then you just have to wander the village afterwards. So that's really only the scene. This is our, this is the hut of our leader. Please show Fire Eyes your respect. Eh? What, okay. What? what? What's happening here? I'm confused. Fire eyes, fire eyes. Fire eyes, fire eyes, fire eyes. We get it. What? Oh, hi. My name's Elizabeth. Everyone around me here calls me Fire Eyes. Um, hi. Uh, my name's Max. Max is my name. Well, Max, step into my hut. We'll talk. Okay. Who let that wild beast in here? Oh, that's my dog. He hasn't been himself lately. What's his name? His name? It's... Oh, this is where we named the dog, and I always name him Rex. Again, it sounds like an 80s thing. Remember back in the 80s when we would name our dogs Rex? We gotta stick with the 80s theme. Rex! Rex? That's original. It certainly is. You're not from around here, are you? I'm not really sure where here is, to tell you the truth. You're on Evermore, in my prehistoric village. I'm the leader. You wouldn't know how to get to Padunk from here, would you? Padunk? Hmm, interesting. I might. Maybe we can work something out. How'd you like to make yourself useful around here? Well, I... The new village alchemist, Strongheart, has wandered off to the east. Uh, <laughs> wandered off to Buckmuck in the east. He's been searching for alchemy ingredients that are plentiful in the muck. If you can help him get to the village, I will help you with whatever you need. Well, as Captain Leaf Meldrock says, in, Mar <laughs> in Mars Needs Lumberjacks, I'm ready for anything. <laughs> That's a very original quote. Before you go, I'd like for you to have an alchemy formula that I've developed. It's called Flash. Oh, wait, excuse me? Uh, a lady's giving me Flash. Oh, hello. <laughs> Party time. Fuck yeah. She's underage, by the way. It's pretty powerful against mean creatures. Oh, good. Does that mean it's super effective against mean creatures? Is there anything that defeats nice creatures? 
You can use the formula whenever you have one part of wax and two parts oil. Just select the spell and let it fly. The more you use the flash formula, the stronger it will get. Cool, thanks! And that's it. And we get a biscuit and water. Thanks for that steel things. So now that's basically our quest. We gotta go and find the missing alchemist. So uh, as you can see, he's a character of no free will. But then again, he, his quest is to get back home. Get out of this world. Get out of this horrible world of prehistoric animals. We're just looting things as I go. Got water. Now normally what we would do to save is go to essentially an inn. Or a random person just says, hey, you wanna record your progress? You look tired. Well, that's not a nice thing to say. How do you say I look tired? I am very much awake. Let's steal these. We're just looting everything. You know, typical RPG fashion. Hello, welcome to my inn. No, but I will save. Uh, well, level 32. Zack, Max, Quick Sandfield. Oh, that's fine. We'll overwrite that. That's fine. It's not too far. Level 34. Phew. That's nothing. Funny thing about this emulator, it does actually. Oh wait, I'm not an emulator. This is actually a. It's this is Super Nintendo. What am I saying? But it does, like a normal Super Nintendo, actually have it where you can reload progress, which is kind of cool. Because that's what normal Super Nintendos do. Totally not alluding to anything. Anyways, this shticks over. Continuing the loot things. Any more things to say about this game? That's pretty much what you, what you see is what you get. At this point, it's just loot and stuff. Very entertaining footage, I know. Get the idea of, oh, wait, what's in here? What, what are you looking at? Water, okay. Just trying to anticipate. I think I've almost memorized where a lot of this stuff can be. And we're just taking this. Roots. Eh, water. I think there's actually a sneaky little guy back here. Oh, no, he's not here yet. But there is stuff I might as well take. Five parts ash. Woo! I don't know what what's a part of ash. I'm just trying to picture like what's inside these things. You can see like tufts of ash, and they're like separated in neat little piles. And how do you get four parts water? How in ga video game logic? How is Max even carrying all these ma materials? Because later you're picking up meteorites and shit. Meteorite. A meteorite just fell on me. Far out. I know there's probably more stuff to loot, but we'll be back. We'll just want to advance the little area to a new screen. Ouch. That's not very... Doggo! Destroy! I can charge now, so I can probably one-shot these dudes. Yeah. He's dead! Shit! I want to keep him alive. <laughs> I guess I need to rest to get his health back. And I realize, yeah, he has only four health. I probably should have rested. Alright. So, I, I would say... It's a very short part, but this would this let's say this is the prologue to our little adventure. I'm gonna call it on here. So everyone, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more games like this. Secret of Evermore. I'm gonna call it SNES Sunday. No, no, not Sunday. Saturday. I better get it right. But every Saturday is gonna be uh, something like the Super Nintendo game, which is in this case Secret of Evermore. So, anyways, take care, everyone. Toodles.